Using my Elgato Stream Deck, I'm able to mute and unmute my mic, control any type of volume levels I want, play my soundboard on unsuspecting teammates. I got this uh, plant-based protein. It's terrible. Yeah. It's awful. It's why oh you're my small. god. Was that our teammate? And much, much more. This is probably the most elaborate setup you've seen, but I promise you, other than the Elgato Stream Deck, there is no fancy expensive equipment you need to buy in order to get this to work. So without further ado, let me show you how to get this done. So technically, this is my part two of this series. So if you have not checked out how to listen to PS5 and PC audio at the same time, you might want to check that out and see a whole step-by-step -step tutorial on how to get everything set up for the first time. The reason why you want to see that video first is that we are using voice meter in conjunction with the Elgato Stream Deck in order to get this to work. Now, voice meter is a free program which acts like an entire mixing board and it gives you a ton of customizable options because after all the ps5 is passing through our pc before it gets to our microphone and headphones by doing it this way you can listen to spotify youtube music pc audio talk to one of your friends on discord all while playing and listening to all your favorite games on the ps5 with no problems whatsoever. And by using voice meter, you're able to mix audio. So you can control the audio levels of your friends on your PS5, along with the audio that's coming from your PC. So now that I explained how important voice meter is in order to get this to work, let me show you how to get everything set up with your Elgato Stream Deck. Let's go to the PC. Okay, so assuming you have everything set up on voice meter with all your different audio tracks, how can we get full control of our voice meter on our Stream Deck? Because if you don't know right now, if I wanted to mute my mic so that my teammates on PS5 can't hear me, I would have to manually go over to A3 and uncheck it or go down to mute and then actually click the mute button under my blue yeti mic and we don't want to do that so what we need to do is set up macros now fortunately voice meter banana does have macros all you have to do is go over to the right hand side where it says menu click on that and you just check off run macros on voice meter start now you're going to see this box is going to appear and this is what we're going to use to set up all our macros now i know it looks kind of daunting and and kind of like what the heck is all this but trust me this is actually way simpler than you may think and we're not going to do anything to our Elgato stream deck as yet we have to set up the macros first and actually tell the system what we want to do before we can actually link it to the Elgato stream deck now the first thing we're going to try to find out how to do is being able to mute our mic now we could use any of these macro buttons that are available to us i'm going to use the one right here just ignore the top three those are the ones i currently have active and that's what we're going to replicate in this video so let's just click on any of the random ones right here i'll click on this one and here you're going to see this dialog box pop up now in the first section it is quite simple we can just name it whatever we want this macro button to do so i'm going to call it mute mic now over in the button color layout you can just pick whatever you want i'll just pick uh color four and make sure that under button type you switch it from push button to two positions if you just have it on push button that just means that whenever you click the macro it's just going to repeat the same process what we want to do is like have a toggle so it could turn it on and we could turn it off and we could turn it on and we could turn it off. So we have to make sure we have it on two positions. Now, besides that, we're going to ignore the rest of the boxes in this top section. We're going to move on towards the request for button on and request for button off for now. Now, if you don't know with voice meter, there is different sections with different names. So this first section is called strip zero. Then we move on to strip one. We have strip two, strip three, and then strip four within each strip you have different options so you have here a1 a2 a3 this is considered the gain here and then you know you have the remote your solo your mono you know you have your different options there on screen right now is our little cheat sheet that we're going to use if you're unsure of what to be typing in for what you want to get done just refer back to this chart it's super simple and easy and it gets straight to the point in our first example we're going to be messing around with the blue yeti mic input so this is located in strip zero. So what we're going to do is under request for button on, we're going to type in strip open bracket zero close bracket period. And then we're going to type in a three, make sure everything's all together. And this is basically telling us that we want to alter this a three button within strip zero. And what we want to do is we want to have it on. So we just put equals one. And what you could do is just copy it and paste it under request for button off. 
and instead of one we're just going to change that to zero now you're going to see whenever we click this button it turns it on it turns it off turns it on turns it off but we are not done we need to make sure that this is set to a hotkey that way we can map it back to our elgato stream deck so let's go back let's click on mute mic and under the button configuration under keyboard shortcut let's find one of our f keys and not just your typical f key that might be on your keyboard we are looking for f13 f14 f15 something that's not typically on your keyboard but that elgato uses itself as well so let's go over and let's see if we could find f13 wherever this may be where are you oh it's up here okay f13 we're gonna use f13 and make sure you have exclusive key enabled very important that just makes sure that whenever you click on that hotkey it only does this specific command we're gonna click on okay and now we have that basically done now let's do another example let's say i have pc audio playing and i want my friends on my ps5 to be able to hear it but not all the time so i need a button that actually is able to toggle on and off this feature so let's do the same thing we just finished doing let's right click on an empty macro button let's call this like pc audio and let's pick a color color four make sure we change the button type to two positions and keyboard shortcut will do that after and since this is now in strip three we just type in strip three or sorry strip open bracket three close bracket period a3 because a3 is what's getting sent over our microphone to our ps5 so gotta make sure we do that and we just do equals one very simple very 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 similar to the last one we just finished doing copy and paste it down and we're just gonna put this as zero so whenever we click the button it toggles it on click it again it toggles it off click ok and you're gonna see right under a3 under the pc audio whenever we click this button turns it on turns it off turns it on turns it off perfect and now let's do the same thing we just finished doing before let's um name this sheet keyboard shortcut let's do f14 wherever you are right here and make sure it's an exclusive key okay and we're done there now let's say we want to be able to change the pc audio right right now i have it at the max that it's at right now which is 12 because for whatever reason you know i have a very high volume ceiling for my speakers and so i want to make sure i maximize that whenever i'm using anything on the pc but whenever i'm playing on my ps5 if i have it maxed out here it's very very loud for my teammates so i need to make sure that it goes to negative seven so i want to toggle it between 12 and negative seven so very very simple let's do the same thing we did before right click go over to the button name let's call this uh pc volume oops and let's pick a color make sure it's a toggle and under request for button once again we are under strip three we're going to do strip open bracket three close bracket and period and this we're not putting a3 a2 a1 no instead of, for this one we are putting gain and you can always refer back to the chart in case you're not sure which kind of text you're supposed to use but in this case we are using gain and for this i want it to be equals 12 and we want to do the same thing let's move it down here but instead of 12 we want it to be equals negative seven click ok and you're gonna see here whenever we click it goes from 12 to negative 7 12 to negative 7 so we're able to change it on and off now you can do this on the bus side over here and once again refer to the chart if you want to find out what the text is for that but yeah you could definitely do it on both sides it's really up to you and what your preference is now let's say you still want to mess around with the pc volume but you don't want it to be a static up and down you don't want to have it so that it just goes from 12 to negative 7 you want it so that's a volume up and volume down feature so you could do that same thing as well so if you go over to pc volume let's just alter the same one we just finished doing and let's just delete the bottom right we're going to change the position from two positions to push button and what we're going to do is let's just do uh let's do volume up by one and between gain and the equal sign we're going to put plus right 
click OK. And what this is going to do is it's going to incrementally increase the volume every time you click. It. So it's like this button is now like a volume up button and you could just map it, just create the same thing and then have one that just does a volume down. So exactly the same as what we did before, but now you have this feature of where you can change the volume up and volume down. Now, I think I got enough examples done now. So let's go over to the Elgato Stream Deck and let's see how we can map it between the voice meter and the Elgato Stream Deck. Now that we have this Stream Deck software opened up, let's link over our hotkeys that we just finished doing on voice meter over to the stream deck. So what we need to do is drag on over hotkey switch. This is under the systems tab. And under here, you're gonna see you have a hotkey switch one, hotkey switch two. So obviously we can't click to assign. So let's click on the drop down menu right below it. Go under F keys and let's find the F key we use, which is F13 to mute mic. And we're gonna do that for the bottom one as well. F13, right, perfect. And we're gonna just call this mute mic if it fits okay I th yeah it fits so now whenever we click this you're gonna see on voice meter it'll turn it on it'll turn it off exactly like we planned it perfect and we could do the same thing for let's say the volume button that we just created let's find another switch right here hotkey switch and let's do we did f16 so i'll do f16 and we'll just call this PC. I'll just put volume, volume, perfect. And just like that, whenever we click it, goes to negative seven, click it again, 12. And of course, the, the picture that we currently have doesn't really relate to what we're trying to do. So if you ever wanna try to change the photo for it, just click on this little drop down button, click um, set from file if you already have a photo that you wanna use, or open Stream Deck icon library. And here's a ton of different options you could use to customize your icon look. But guys, that is how you do it in a nutshell. So now, whenever I want to play on my PS5 and mute my mic, it's as simple as just clicking one of these buttons and I could just enable and disable my microphone. And there are just so many options you can do. I really just scratched the surface here. Just make sure that you have run macros on voice meter start always enabled and you always leave this window open or also will not work, okay? So make sure you just have it open and you have it minimized. Just refer back to the chart if you're unsure what text you should be using, but it's really as simple as that. I think I explained everything the best possible way that I could explain it. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be happy to help you out. This is a super easy setup and I really recommend everybody to use it because you're really not breaking the bank in order to get everything set up. And it's great because you can do all that while using the most popular gaming accessory that most streamers use. But with that being said, guys, my name is Matthew. Thank you so much for watching, but as always, peace out.